nice day and there's these birds flying around that's actually that's a bit of foreshadowing there you know so um, not you have to remember when you watch something like this movie not a single bit of it is random or accidental none of it because you know they had to draw I don't remember how many frames per second these things are 30 maybe maybe it's a little less than that but it's high quality animation and so someone had to paint 30 pictures to get a second of this you're not doing that accidentally it's really expensive and everyone has to agree on exactly what's going to happen and you might say well do the people who are doing this consciously know what they're doing and the answer to that is well sort of just like you do you know it's yes they know and no they don't and they know because they're really smart and gifted and all that but they don't know because it's not all articulated plus they're working in a group so they know and don't know just like you do when you're watching it and so and and when you do anything else so now they're also guided by what you might call they're guided by their unconscious in the in the Freudian and in the cognitive way partly because your unconscious value structures determine the direction and content of your perceptions and so it's built right into the way you move your eyes because you tend to look at things you value right or at things you're afraid of like you look at things with valence and part of the decision about what has value is dependent on the implicit structure of your moral system your because morality is about what's good and what isn't and that's been partly a conscious construction of you but it's partly something you've been you've picked up by interacting with people like mad ever since you were born you don't know all the rules any more than the damn cricket did you just don't and you can't because you're too complicated but you act them out and then you also have representations of how people act in your imagination dreams are that's what a dream is that's what a fantasy is that's what that little movie that plays inside your head when you remember what you did is and you only remember the gist you know so even the the imagistic representation of your behavior in your past which is basically your episodic memory it's already selecting and molding and turning it into a, a relatable story it can't help but do that it's the only way you can represent it and so you don't know how you do that or why you do that but part of it's governed by this implicit morality that's part of your procedural memory system part of the way you act and part of the way you move your eyes and listen to things and focus on them and that's all being instantiated inside of you because of this immense social your biology but also this immense social project that you're continually engaged in and so that informs what you remember it informs what you imagine it informs what we collectively imagine it informs what we can collectively understand and partly what you're doing while you become conscious of yourself is to map the implicit structures that already constitute you from society into explicit representation 